Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is just a quick, nice, easy video showing off this haul that I got about a month ago now from one of my good friends, Rodolfo. It's something that I didn't know whether I was gonna get a chance to film. I'm leaving America in just over 24 hours, but I really wanted to show off some of these pretty rare collectibles from the all the different Halo eras, really, and something is sticking out of the top. Would you look at that? A Halo 3 baseball cap. Now I gotta say, this uh, has served me very well already. I took this to the Halo Championship Series Final in Seattle and got more compliments than I've realistically ever got on a piece of clothing. And I had to keep this Halo 3 tag on uh, just for the authenticity of the whole situation. And Kellen's looking back at me like, <laughs> you really got that many compliments for a hat like that? Dude, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. An original Halo 3 mint. Can you imagine paying seven? Oh no, reduced to two dollars on clearance at Walmart for this beautiful hat. That is crazy. You never know what Halo Infinite items might end up being relics in the future. So my friend Rodolfo, he wanted to clear through some of his collection, sent me this huge box. Um, it's it, it's not filled with pirate's booty, uh, but it's filled with a lot of hate. I mean, I guess it is a pirate's booty in some ways. This is kind of Kind of ironic that like, yeah, the, the pirate treasure that we're really looking for is rare Halo collectibles. So we got this Halo baseball cap. We're gonna pull these out one by one and just show you nice and simply. This is something that I've been looking for for a while. The Halo Infinite Fig Pin. Like these are metallic pins. Um, I'm not gonna damage the packaging at all, but like, look at this. It's an enormous, enormous pin. Wow, I mean, that's got some real weight to it absolutely beautiful like look at the finish on that these fig pins have become very popular as of the last few years there's always a gap in the market that's ready to be filled there's always collectors wanting to spend money this is a 2020 release fig pins are always very popular at gamestop but i could never track down the halo ones and ironically i managed to track down both the xl version of this fig pin and the regular one um, in very short proximity to each other i don't know exactly how long but we'll attach that back on, slide that back in the... Oh, this the box is actually pretty damaged at this point, so we don't have to take all that good care of it. But I think it's still a gorgeous collectible. I'm going to keep it in America for now because I have very little storage space, uh, very little luggage space, and um, I want to prioritize taking the stuff. I mean, I can take back 20 blind bags instead of this one fig pin, so I'm going to prioritize that for now, but still... Awesome, I'll come back for you one day, Master Chief Figpin. Let's bring some of this tissue paper away, and oh yeah, baby. We've got a Halo Spartan collection figure here, and pretty much the most valuable one that has come out so far. It's Spartan Jerome. Red Team always has like a mint to it. It always has a real value to it. Like the original Red Team McFarlane, worth a lot of money. This is worth quite a lot of money too. I think about $100 now, maybe more. Uh, that's why the Alice is also quite hard to get. That just came out of the new series. Um, I already have one Jerome, but this one is just going to my collection in England. I'll sell it one day probably. I mean, it's, it's worth a lot of money. I think people are sleeping on the red team charge from Mega. I think that will end up being worth a lot of money in the future. Next up is something you're very familiar with on this channel, the Lights of Sanghelios. I have uh, made so many videos about this product <laughs> actually a ridiculous amount mostly last year when i lived here we did some very funny videos one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen that's too many lights of sanghelios it's never enough lights of sanghelios 18 19 are we gonna hit 20? Are we gonna hit 20? Maybe we already hit 20, maybe I lost count, I don't know. We got a lot of lights of Sanghelios here. Now, yeah, I don't condone stockpiling these. I've already agreed to sell these to a few different collectors in the UK. Um, I'm gonna take them out of the packaging and break them down, but yeah, uh, let's let's do one for now. The lights of Sanghelios, uh, pretty iconic figure because uh, the Halo Heroes series three elite honor guard was the only elite honor guard that they actually released apart from a translucent one so for a long time it was worth over a hundred dollars until they really did saturate the market with these lights of sanghelios which is what you should do like when you have a really legendary figure that people want you should release it as much as possible to saturate the market make sure everyone can get it 
Uh, so, and then they, and then the series 18 Halo Heroes got a Red Elite Honor Guard again. So now there are a lot of Honor Guards on the market. But yeah, uh, now there's now there's a few less. There's a, some more in collectors' hands. Here we have a Halo Infinite buildable ring. Always good to see. I don't know if I'm ever gonna put the money down to complete my ring. I now have three. Um, so I, I mean, maybe, maybe. They would have to come my way in a very easy, special way for me to bother. Um, okay, here's something interesting for you. A Halo 4 vinyl sticker. Um, I assume it's uh, reversed because of how you transfer it onto... Uh, is it a temporary tattoo? Master Chief is back for the holiday of 2012. Get ready for the start of a new trilogy. Interesting seeing the word trilogy there like did they know what they were doing like at all when they announced that like did they know that halo 5 and infinite would it's not really a trilogy in any regard considering halo infinite is like basically a spiritual reboot to the franchise so i mean i, I call a bit of uh, bs on that one but that is pretty cool holiday 2012 watch out guys it's going to be a good one uh, and it was a good one another rare collectible here now this thing um, I know a lot of people that I sent a couple of pictures to my chats and they were like, you've got to be kidding me. This is a Halo 2 watch. Only on Xbox, Bungie and yeah, the original Xbox logo. There we go. Okay. Look at that. A Halo 2 watch. That's pretty beautiful. You got, you, you got, to, you got to give them credit. That is gorgeous. It's held... A uh, very good condition. And that's not the only Halo 2 collectible we have. Where are they? Oh ho ho. This is a Halo 2 multiplayer map pack magnet. Nine all new multiplayer maps and bonus content. Enhance, en ex enhance expand, engage. Nine new locations from swamps to space stations and beyond. And oh, look at that. There's two. So I, I guess these fold. Yeah, I guess they can fold like Three that. Three of these guys. There are millions of Halo collectibles out there that you will have never seen, uh, that you do not know exist, even some mega, and it's really fun to just bring some of them to light and allow people to sort of witness an old collectible they had no idea existed. There's the base of the buildable ring. We've got a few things left today. This is the regular fig pin, the size that, you know, the majority of these come in. I like these fig pins, how they attach them in a way. It, it makes it more 3D. It looks like a, a, three, a piece of 3D art, the way they display them at the front of the box so mad respect for that i like that they actually have two different designs here that's really fun now this was really fun this is a demarcation media collectible pin badge now i uh, reviewed these when they first got released i made a video and it's really fun to see that they're just circulating in people's collections it's awesome so big shout out to demarcation media and his collectible pin this is a master chief and arbiter action clicks two pack really fun apparently a target exclusive free with your pre-order of halo 3 like this is just stuff that i would have had no idea existed now i do know that exists it's one of my favorite collectibles i own the halo action click scarab amazing okay so you get character cards so you can play the game however the game used to be played it would be fun to actually get enough of these and play the game oh wow you want to know how to play the game? There it is. That's the game rules. Okay. Oh, we got a board as well. All right. You know what? I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a video one day playing the game. And the last collectible is something that I also didn't know existed. This is a warthog for mini mates. Now, mini mates were these old little Halo Three action figures. Really cute, kind of chibi s. So to see that there's actually a warthog that I had no idea existed, I'm looking forward to actually going home and like digging through drawers and popping them in the driver and passenger seat of this warthog. So this is a haul that I could have like just packed away and not shown off, but I think there's just some really rare collectibles that no one will have ever seen before, like this Halo Two multiplayer map pack magnet, Halo Two watch, and Halo Three baseball cap, a mini mates warthog, an action click set, and a ton of lights of sang Helios. What an epic haul. Big shout out to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there. And the action clicks mini hog is signing off.